Hello everyone, welcome to day 29th of November Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Jump Game 3. So in this question, you are given an array and you are also given a start index. You need to identify whether there is a path possible from the start index to the index where value is 0. The constraint given to you in this question is, you can move in two directions, the in index where you are plus the current value of, well, value of the node or index uh, uh, current index minus the value of the node so these are the two possibilities where you can go from the current node the index the next index would be either the current index plus the value of the node or current index minus the value of the node so let's go through one example here so you're given this array the start index is 5 so you will you that means you are at 1 right now and the path is something like this you are at 1 you'll reduce the node the index by 1 that means either you can generate 4 or 6 so you move to 4 uh, you got 3 you can either go uh, you can add 3 7 or uh, or 4 minus 3 is 1 so you ca came here at 2 then at 2 you can go either 2 places above 2 places above that means you are you came at 0 so the path is something like this 5 4 1 3 and hence you got 0, you reach 0 and you return true. The question itself tells you that you need to do some kind of graph traversal either in the DFS fashion or the BFS fashion. As you can see, uh, there is some kind of graph that is being traversed in this manner or this manner. So without much ado, let's look at the algorithm. Jump game, let me just start the algorithm. Jump game 3. And let me just take the similar example that was specified in the question. We will prefer BFS traversal over DFS1 because uh, DFS is slightly more likely than DFS1 because you will be traversing the complete node in one stretch and um, you might not find the answer. Uh, for the BFS1, uh, the adjacent or the neighbors node ha have the equal probability uh, to get zero. That's it. So we, we are given five as a start index and hence we added it in the queue. This is our queue. Uh, from here, uh, we can generate two nodes. One is the forward node, other one is the backward node. So one plus uh, five, five plus one is six. Five minus one is four. We added it in the queue. So you had five before. So you added six and four. And as soon as you added them, you marked this as visited, and uh, removed this. So now the queue has 6 and 4 in it as shown in this exam this slide. So 6, 4 and then uh, you uh, popped out 6. You checked whether the number is equal to 0 or not. It's not. You continue with the logic. What, is the lo what does the logic say? So you calculate the forward index which is 8. You can calculate the backward index which is 4. And uh, since 8 is beyond the limits, you ignore this. 4, you added 4 again as shown in this. Add it in the queue since it's not yet visited and you mark 6 as visited now so this has been marked as visited these two are visited and you just simply pop it out that's it now you are at 4 again uh, you saw that it's 4 the value is 3 you need to continue your logic since you haven't got 0 yet uh, at 4 uh, you calculate the forward index what is the forward index 7 uh, it's out of the range it's out of range you ignore it uh, the, the backward index is 1 4 minus 3 is 1 uh, you add it in the, the queue as shown here and you mark it as visited that's it so this now removing this we get this uh, since it has already been visited uh, you will again remove this uh, continue with your logic and now you have one from one you uh, see that the value is not still not equal to zero uh, you can go uh, three points two points above so uh, one plus two plus one is three uh, so you added three in your array uh, since it's within the limits, uh, one uh, two minus uh, one minus two is minus one. So you need to ignore this. It's, a, it's an invalid entry, and you move ahead. So this has been marked visited now. Uh, you got three, and at three you saw that the value is equal to zero, and hence you return true from error. I'll exactly code the way I have spoken or traverse to the algorithm. BFS traversal. So I need a queue here, and I'll store indices there. In the queue so my queue store new link list and 
uh, I'll create a boolean array that will tell me whether the node has been visited in the past or not. New boolean array dot length. And I'll simply add my first element into my uh, queue. So I added queue. And since I need to start from queue, uh, start, uh, st start the queue from start. Since queue is not empty, you will iterate through the queue in the BFS traversal in a BFS fashion. Queue dot size. That's a standard way of writing BFS traversal. While size minus minus is greater than zero. You pop out the pull out pop out the topmost element. I mean pull out the topmost element. And let me just call it head. So q dot pull head. And if array of head is equal to zero, that means you found your answer. Return true. Else, if a visited of head is false that means node has not yet been visited what you will do you'll calculate the forward index how will calculate the forward index forward index would be equal to the current index plus uh, array of head as stated in the question also you will calculate the back index backward index backward index what is the value head minus the current node value and if forward index is greater than equal to zero and and forward index is less than array dot length whether it's within the array constraints you will add it in the queue queue dot offer forward index and similarly I'll write it for the backward index. So I'm just copy pasting here. And since you have now uh, traversed through both of its children, you will mark it as visited. Visited of head equals to true. And otherwise you are out of the queue. You are done with the code and you will return false. So let's quickly run this up. Compilation error, link list, typo. True, let me just submit it. It passed. Let me just talk about the time complexity. Uh, so here you will uh, be uh, going through each node once in the array since uh, you are you are maintaining a visited array there. Uh, the time complexity would be equal to order of n, and so is the space complexity because you are maintaining uh, the boolean array too. So this is the time complexity. This is the space complexity because of the boolean array. Thanks for watching the video.